What is the secret cryptocurrency that both Mark Cuban and CZ from Binance are both backing? Today we're going to be doing a deep dive into the cryptocurrency injection and let's get right into it. All right, everybody, welcome to this altcoin review. Today we're going to be reviewing Injective, ticker ING. And as you can see, Injective has been having a phenomenal year. Phenomenal. At the beginning of this year, it was at about $2 to $1, and now it's sitting at $17 and almost 30 cents. And in the bull run in 2021, it got to as high as $22, but this has been one of the best performers of this bear market. We're kind of in the early stage of a bull market now, but it's been doing very, very good. And it's been making a lot of noise recently. Currently, it is sitting at, let's see right here, Let's go to actual coin market. It is sitting right at 38 now ahead of Arbitrum and Aave and Optimism. So it has been completely climbing the ranks and it has right now about a almost $1.5 billion market cap up almost 25% on the week or the, yeah, on the week and almost 9% on the day. But now we're going to be taking a look at what Injective absolutely is and all that stuff. So let's take a look at their Twitter. They have about 400K followers and very sleek branding. I love their branding and as they say on the Twitter, they are the fastest layer one blockchain for finance, backed by Binance, Pantera, and Mark Cuban. That is absolutely huge. So as we go here on the website, as it says, the blockchain built for finance. Build and use the best Web3 applications on Injective, the fastest layer one blockchain shaping the future of finance. So this is kind of still rallying off that you know big narrative, which was last cycle, where there was a ton of new L1 spinning up. We saw Avalanche, Solana, near ICP, there's a ton of them and Injective is one of them also. But here's where things get really, really interesting. Take a look at this, you know, we can take a look at the, the tech right now, as it says right here, you know, blocks produced over 50 million, on-chain transactions over 300 million, block time 0.8 seconds, average transaction costs less than, oh, less than a cent, but really none of the tech stuff matters. It really comes down to the narrative, who's backing them and all that kind of stuff. Solana has dog shit tech, still pumps. We're here to make money off these coins. So as it says here, this is what's really catching my eye. Backed by the best, Binance, Pantera Jump, and Mark Cuban. This is absolutely huge. Um, I don't know how deep I need to go into this, but Binance, you know, kind of controls the cryptocurrency market. They run the game. I think we all know that by now. CZ runs the game. Mark Cuban's also very, very popular, and he can chill like crazy. So once again, that's basically, you know, a paid influencer off the bat. And as it says right here, about Injective's mission is to create a truly free and inclusive financial system through decentralization. With the fastest blockchain built for finance and plug and play Web3 modules, Injective's ecosystem is reshaping a broken financial system with dApps that are highly interoperable, scalable, and truly decentralized. That's pretty cool. And here, take a look at their, you know, their roadmap. As you can see in 2018, it was incubated by Binance Labs. Very, very interesting. Let's see, uh, 2020, it's released by Binance Launchpad. Injective is. And as we go down here, Injective Mainnet release was in 2021 Q4. So I'm going to keep looking for more of the things that we actually care about. And yeah, that's about it. They really don't have anything down here for 2023 and all that. But now let's take a look at this. So this is from this year, January 25th, beginning of this year. Injective launches $150 million ecosystem fund to accelerate interoperable infra and DeFi adoption. They basically have unlimited money because Binance can basically, you know, kind of print money in a way with their stablecoin and everything. We know Binance basically has unlimited money. So as it says here, Injective Layer 1 Blockchain is launching a $150 million fund ecosystem. And this is very good because it's going to provide, you know, capital for people to build in the ecosystem, marketing, all that other stuff. Um, as it says here, Injective was incubated by Binance Labs in 2018, later backed by Jump Crypto, Pantera Capital, billionaire Mark, Mark Cuban. In the third quarter of 2022, raised an institutional funding round from Brevin Howard and Jump and its ecosystem works with dApps such as Coinbase, Figment, Path, Wormhole, a few. And its new ecosystem fund is backed by previous investors, so they have a new fund for the ecosystem, as I just said. Pantera and Jump, as well as Kraken Ventures, KuCoin Ventures, Delphi Labs, Flow Trades, Gate Capital, IDG Capital. They have basically unlimited money. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's the whole news line of that, which is very bullish. You want, you know, your protocols have a lot of money, so they can spend on marketing, blah, blah, blah. You guys all get that. Now let's talk about, and I don't think, once again, I don't think I need to go into this, but you know, Binance Mark Cuban, that's absolutely massive. That's going to carry the boats. So that's really probably the most bullish narrative behind the scenes. You know, of course it's fast L1, but there's a billion fast L1. It's really CZ and Mark Cuban. So now let's take a look at their ecosystem. So 
Here are the four dApps they first have featured. I have not looked at these before, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not an expert on Injective. I currently do not own any Injective token. I probably should go pick some up, you know. I am very bullish on it. I just currently don't have any. Putting towards money, you know, to my startup, etc. So all that stuff probably should maybe rotate out some other positions going to Injective. We'll see though, you know, we'll see. But this is a first review, first look at the first four apps they have featured on the website. So we're gonna go to it first. We have Mido, and the description for it is Mido brings a groundbreaking protocol to revolutionize automated trading, launch pads, and yield generation. So automate your trades, activate your earnings. Let's take a look at this. This gives me very big Robinhood vibes. So let's take a look at this. Uh, we're not gonna do that, so. Overall, looks pretty clean. Probably a very cool, you know, dApp. Marketing is very well, so that's nice to see. Now the next thing is Talus, the first native NFT marketplace building an objective. So it's just your standard NFT marketplace. Uh, this looks pretty cool, but once again, I'm pretty sure everyone who's watched this video is probably using NFT Marketplace, so we're not going to do a deep review. I'm just, really what I'm looking for is branding, how nice the application looks, and that's what it kind of comes down to. Branding, is the marketing well, is, you know, can they make, people can make money on it, all that other stuff. So, now let's take a Black Panther, an innovative asset manager protocol. So, I'm going to go here. Where is it? Here we go. Well, I can't really get to it. I don't know why. We're going to fucking skip that one. Anyways, we're going to go to the last one, which is Helix. It's the premier decentralized order book exchange, which is pretty much this right here. Not too much. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have used a decentralized order book and all that other cool stuff. Why can't I get this Black Panther thing to work? I don't know. I'm done screwing around with it, though. And now let's talk about influencers talking about it. So I already talked about keep beating the drum on Mark Cuban CZ, which is huge. But here's another huge influencer that's... Love shilling injective, which is completely fine. It's Cousin Crypto. Cousin Crypto's got some base takes. As you can see on his Twitter, it's a very active 125,000 followers. And he's also big on TikTok too, with almost 300,000 followers on TikTok. And as you can see here, he has a very active community. People follow this guy. So it's not just a bunch of fluff and a bunch of numbers. They're actually looking at it and, you know, taking, you know, they're looking at his... Uh, calls and you know people are figuring out what they want to do with their money and people like his takes So yeah, you can do what you want with that information And remember this video is all not financial advice But let's just give me a little I'm gonna give this a little roundup my final thoughts on objective why I'm personally bullish The biggest two reasons I'm bullish are one clean marketing. It's nice Injective is a nice name the colors are cool and the most important thing is also CZ, Binance, and influencers. Influencers are talking about it, like crypto influencers on the floor. CZ and Binance are backing and Mark Cuban, which is like the biggest thing. And then also the protocol has great, great marketing. And that's really all you need for an order for a coin to pump. You know, we can do a nitty gritty, get into the tech and all that. The tech ain't gonna make the coin pump. It's not. This ain't Bitcoin. This is all about marketing and influential people talking about it and people with money dumping money into it. And when you have all those three things, that's gonna make the coin go up. So uh, that's why I'm bullish on Injective personally, and I need to rotate some positions in there. I need to get some Injective. But. And yeah, guys, that's all we got for today's video. Make sure to go subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and then go follow me on Twitter. First link in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching.